Oh, Kill Candy here, and today we're doing a box opening of the C64 Mini. And so I got mine for the same price you can get it on Amazon. Um, this is in Canada, as you can see, there's French underneath. Um, so plugs into your TV, AC is not included. Uh, that's fine because I have like a billion of these flashback systems. Uh, also, after I get a capture card, I'm going to do a video on uh, all these little mini consoles. It'll be quite interesting. So, we look at the side here. Website, attention, please read the documents before design. Um, obviously, since it's not open yet, I have not updated it. But uh, if you update it, you can like do mods and stuff. This is what I like about this. Look, look at this woman's hand. Like, she has really nice nails. My nails are all, like, I use my hands a lot, so, like, I have to cut mine. It's not healthy to have long nails. Um, yeah. And these are, like, all the games and stuff that are in it. I'm really interested, uh, I've wanted, actually, a Commodore for a long time. Uh, I actually saw it in, I think it was a JonTron episode, and I was like, what the heck is that? And it was, like, just a background piece, and then I ended up looking it up or something, and... Yeah, I always wanted one because I was like, what? You play all these games on that? Just wait. I want a Windows 95 flashback. I will totally buy that. Put all those like weird Windows 95 games on it. That'd be awesome. And also then I don't have to fiddle around with the, the emulator thing inside Windows to play some of the older games. Or like Windows when, like, before Windows, like DOS computers. Like, I know this is around then, but I'm, I'm talking about more like the World of Warcraft and different things like that. Or not World of Warcraft, Warcraft! Before it had numbers. And there was an online component. Okay, hang on, this is taking forever to get this sticky stuff off. Oh yeah, I thought I should actually show you guys this, all this important stuff before I continue. So we got it open. There's this really nice box inside. So when you're done with it, you put it away. I usually leave all my stuff just plugged into the television set. Um, so this is a mini, and they are making a big one. It's confirmed that you have a working keyboard, so you're probably wondering, why aren't you waiting for that one? And it's uh, simply because... Um, you know, they said it's going to come out, but there was another retro console that was of a computer that they had a first batch and, like, their second batch never came out. And I'm just paranoid that I won't be able to get one. So, it's fine. It's part of my mini console collection. Uh, here is the controller. So, fun fact, apparently if you bought, like, the older flashbacks, like prior to the Nintendo flashback, or I suppose classic system. Oh, there's stuff on here. Um, then it came with controllers like this, kind of like the Atari ones, and you plug it into your TV, and apparently it had the same thing inside, but if you read online, uh, they were saying something about uh, it could put out HDMI or whatever, so it's not the, you know, the positive or whatever. And, um, oh god, you know what this, this, uh, if you have an arcade one-up cabinet, uh, the joysticks in that are kind of better. <laughs> so are the buttons. Uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna put that to the side. And then, let's see what's underneath. So I think all the stuff... Yep, here we go. So here's the power cable. Here's the HDMI, and I have like 50 trillion of these now. And here is my guide on it. Probably like, if you feel dizzy, call your doctor. If you have seizures, don't turn it on. By the way, I have a friend that uh, actually has seizures from like stuff and he never has a problem with these games so I think it must be a minority of a minority thing uh, Retro Reborn world's first retro game subscription service ooh and
can't stream. Use promo code. Okay. Well, there's a promo code that we all got with our things, and that sounds pretty cool. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the box opening of the C64 Mini. Uh, I gotta tell you, I did not have one of these when I was a kid because I was a Windows 95 kid. That's what I used. <laughs> and then, of course, Windows 98. So um, this is going to be a new experience. It's just like I wasn't around with Atari, so I bought an Atari flashback just because... You know, this is part of gaming history, and I do want to try all the different aspects. Because I don't know how many times someone's, like, started, I don't know, PlayStation 2 era, and they're completely ignorant to all the gaming before it, and they'll make a comment that's, like, so clearly, like, ignorant to all the games before it. And I don't want to accidentally say something like that and not realize that there's, like, a game like that on C64 or, like, an Atari and... I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because it wasn't until the 90s it kind of blew up. But still, you know, just want to avoid things like that. I mean, it, it's an art form, a media form now. It's kind of like screwing up on classical literature in a conversation. Bad. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to, after I get a capture card, I'm going to do a video on comparing all these. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.